The Chicago Bears went from Russell Wilson to Andy Dalton. So essentially, in one corner, you have probably an underdrafted player. A player who for many seasons straight went to the playoffs. A player who is known to have a rifle of a right arm. A player who played in an organization that didn't quite appreciate him. A player that maybe should get more recognition than he has gotten. And in the other corner, you have Russell Wilson. Andy Dalton has signed a one-year contract worth $10 million with $3 million in incentives to play for the Chicago Bears. The Bears have their new quarterback, their new starter, in my opinion, for the 2021 season. At least that's what it looks like right now, Bears fans. I know that's not what you want to hear. I know you would have rather me come on here and preach and talk about Russell Wilson being in Chicago or you know, possibly another big name like Deshaun Watson. But you're going to have Andy Dalton, most likely. And what I got to say about this man, all kidding aside, I think this move absolutely, positively, absolutely, positively sucks. I'm sorry, Bears fans. Some of you might be positive about this, but I'm sitting here and I'm saying, what in the blue are the Bears doing? What are they doing? What are they thinking? How could you think this is the move to make? Now, I understand that with the current coaching staff, it makes sense to bring in Andy Dalton. You have some guys that have worked with Andy Dalton there on the offensive coaching staff in the past. He knows the system. He's ran it well in the past. Here's the thing. Andy Dalton played with arguably the best receiving core in the NFL last year and an offensive line that is probably better than the Bears but you know they didn't have Tyron Smith they didn't have Collins either so it wasn't a great offensive line but a top three receiving core Andy Dalton is not going to be better this year a year older with less weapons, with a bad offensive line, with a worse running game, arguably. You know, the only thing that he has now is a defense. Andy Dalton is not a starter in the NFL. I don't know what is going on in Chicago, who is making these decisions, but whoever it is seriously needs to get their head checked, their brain examined. Like, I like Andy Dalton. He seems like a nice fellow. But he's not a starting quarterback. He's a backup. There's a reason he's a backup. There's a reason the Cowboys paid four kajillion dollars for Dak Prescott. Because they realize Andy Dalton is not it. They realize that. Obviously, Chicago did not tune into Cowboys games this year. See, this is the thing. I would not be criticizing this move if Andy Dalton was the backup. If Andy Dalton, if the plan is that Andy Dalton is the bridge, if he's the bridge quarterback, okay, that's fine. That's serviceable. I can understand that. I can get behind that. But if Andy Dalton is your actual answer to be your quarterback, somebody needs to get fired. Somebody really needs to get fired. If he's your answer. I honestly, I'd rather have Mitchell Trubisky. I would. Now, maybe I'd rather have Andy Dalton than Nick Foles. But it's bad. How? How can you go from Russell Wilson, Hall of Famer, Super Bowl champion, borderline MVP the last three years, Best deep ball in the game. Best improviser in the game. To, in the other corner, Andy Dalton. How can you do that? 
You promise the world. And you get Andy Dalton. Again, I'm not trying to personally attack Andy Dalton. But like, it's not good enough. So, they need to draft somebody. They need to look to move up in the draft if they want to draft somebody, most likely. Or they need to try to get Deshaun Watson because it doesn't feel like it's going to be Russ. And I don't even know if they have enough money to trade for Deshaun Watson. So, man, I don't know, Bears fans. Let me know what you think. But this move absolutely positively stinks, in my opinion. Andy Dalton. One year, $10 million. Not to mention, one year, $10 million, That's like two times Jameis Winston and Cam Newton. I'd rather have both those guys over Andy Dalton. So, okay. Okay, Bears. We'll see how you do in 2021.